I don't know about where you live, but here in New York, it is finally, finally feeling like spring. So today, I wanted to talk about the energies of Ostara, or the spring equinox. Hey tribe, Donna here from Transformational Healing. And today, we're going to talk about the energies of spring or the vernal equinox, the spring equinox, and it's sometimes called Ostara. Ostara is about a time to grow and a time to fertilize all of the things and do the work for everything that we've been planting those seeds for. Before we get started, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel, especially if you're new around here, so that you can get announcements when there's new videos coming. So speaking about seeds, I'm hoping that you've been noticing that I've been doing a lot of social media and also videos about planting seeds as we've been moving towards the equinox and I have also been trying to plant seeds in you of mindfulness and changing your mindset and trying to get you to realize that you're planting seeds all the time with your thoughts and even whether they're subconscious or whether they're conscious thoughts the thoughts and things that you think about yourself. Those are planting seeds in yourself for what you believe that you can do. It's part of your mindset. And it's really important to think about those seeds that you're planting. What are you telling yourself on a daily basis? What are you telling yourself every moment when you think about whether you can or cannot do something. So think about watching some of those videos on mindset and mindfulness again and maybe looking at them with a different view. Think about them as to the seeds that you've been planting and what seeds do you actually want to be planting and how are you fertilizing your garden what actions are you taking to make those plans come to fruition, to make them blossom, and to make them grow? Because that's really important. It's important to think about what you are feeding yourself. What fertilizer are you giving yourself? My fertilizer has been about learning to go with the flow of things which kind of ended up being funny this week with having to put off this video a day because of outside influences and having to actually go with the flow. And I know that that's something that I've been working on is being able to just connect and be in with the flow and being okay with that. And everything's just falling together. So even though it seemed like there were obstacles it helped me to get other things done um, the last couple of days when I was not able to record because of lots and lots of noises and to learn to just set up in a different way and to record in a different way so that I can still share things with you and not have to worry about what's going on in the outside world. Just manipulate and work around it. But I also promised you a bit of egg magic this week. But let's talk about real quick, what is magic anyway? I mean, magic is prayer with a punch, or it's intention with action. So we're formulating those intentions and having them very clear in our mind, but just because we have the intention doesn't mean that we're actually doing anything to work towards that goal. You have to have the action for that magic to work. So when it comes to egg magic, eggs are about blessings and fertility and bringing things into fruition. 
and also about bringing blessings and new energy. The ritual eggshell powder or cascaria that I sell in the shop is used in that manner. It can be added to a white bath for protection energies and to bring blessings or it can be put on certain places in the body typically the top of the head or the back of the neck the palms of your hands or the soles of your feet for protection and many people do use it that way but you can use eggshells in that way as well so start collecting your eggshells and wash them and let them dry and then you can use your mortar and pestle to grind them up into a fine powder that powder can be used for all sorts of things you can add it to a protection pouch that you're going to carry around with you you could spread it around your property or spread it around the outside of your house for protection like some people use black salt for or if you want to use it for fertility or fertilization it is amazing to add to your garden so start adding eggshells to your garden and when you're planting and when you're working work on growing those things in yourself as well so it's not just about planting seeds literally in your garden but it's about planting seeds in yourself and using that eggshell and mixing it in with the soil to also grow things for you you can actually even take a whole egg I prefer to use a hard-boiled egg especially when I do this with the kids around Ostara they're a little older now and we don't necessarily color eggs and do egg hunts but a perfect thing to do with the kids for Ostara is to have them or you write on your eggs the things that you want to draw to you write what you are trying to manifest and write your intentions on the eggs and then you can each bury one egg and that's why I said hard-boiled is usually better um, underneath a new seed or a new plant or you could put it at the roots of an existing plant somewhere special in your garden where it can help grow and as that grows you're feeding your intention as your new plant grows so there's lots of ways to use eggs when it comes to magic so I hope that some of these ideas can help you think about ways that you can make sure that you are building the life that you want that you are creating a life of balance and fertilizing the right seeds so make sure that you go watch some of those videos and I'll post them down below and a few quick announcements uh, today at seven o'clock is the intro to working with crystals class that my husband Todd and I are teaching through star and splendor and you have until five o'clock today if you wanted to get in last minute on that class it is thirty dollars for a two plus hour class and we'll have a question and answer session afterwards and let's see um, we'll also be giving you a crystal PDF and recording the class as well so you'll get a copy of the recording later too uh, star and splendor dot com is where you will go to find out information on that and I'll also put that down below but if you're looking for other information for what classes and all the new products that are coming out in the shop as well as special events and the big sales I always spoil the people on my email tribe the most so you should make sure that you join the email tribe you can find that link below as well but you would go to transformational healing by Donna dot com forward slash tribe and I hope you enjoyed this week's video uh, next week we will be talking about herbs for respiratory health 
or respiratory support. I've had a lot of inquiries over the last couple of weeks of people that are looking with seasonal allergies and with everything else that's going on to be able to just give themselves a little bit of boost and make sure that they're taking care of their upper respiratory system. And so that's what we're going to cover next week. But until then, many blessings, tribe. We'll see you soon.